Hello my crafty friends, I'm Leslie and thank you once again for dropping by Crafty Cards with Leslie. I have made this card several times before but I thought I'd share it with you. It's funny isn't it? Just how some card designs quickly become your favourites. You can finish this card in a couple of different ways so please let me know which one you like the best, either a flat one or one with foam tape. Okay enough chatting so let's get to work on this card. This is the one that I put the foam tape on. It just rise, raises the um, the front of the card a little bit. And this is the flat one. So just leave a comment and let me know which one you think looks best. This one, I used the tumbled glass. And these are oxides, distressed oxide inks. This one, I used the Victorian velvet. So the one we're going to make today, I'm going to use Stormy Skies. It's nice to sort of mix it up a little bit and uh, do different ones. So I'll walk you through the process. First of all, these are regular size cards, a four and a quarter by five and a half. But then I just used a die to cut out the front panel, which is um, five and a quarter by four. And then I used a little die just to cut out the center of the card front and put two uh, dies together just tape them with some um, um, non-stick tape it's just a posted um, post-it note tape and then you're left with this so this is what I'm going to use to actually use the frame for the opening of the front of the card so this is the floral um, die background yeah floral background die and it's beautiful I think because you can actually cut these out individually and use them on separately on cards too which is kind of nice and this one is um, the square that I use to cut out these this panel it's slightly larger than the panel here because you need to be able to stick it underneath and this is about two and a half inch square so that will give me two out of one of these card fronts. So I'm left with this panel here. So I'm sure I'm going to be able to do something on another card with this panel. I haven't thought what yet, but I'm going to save that for future. So let's just move this to one side. And let's start sticking another few little things down. We'll pop this one down first so we don't lose it. I'll move this die out of the way but this is a really good way to um to make frames and if you buy the the nesting dies you know you can go to the next size up and have a wider frame if you wish so they're quite versatile so i'm just going to use my little narrow uh, tape dispenser for this uh, glue dispenser for this one make sure i've got it the right way up Very handy to have this little dispenser. Okay. We'll just leave that there to dry for a minute. Okay, that's all you need to do with that. So for the next one, we'll just take the card and oops, I need to get a card. There we go. Just make sure I've got a nice crease on there. So this is going to be just a little bit, just like a quarter of an inch all the way around. So we're going to put the oxide ink just on the front here. And be sure if you're using um, inks that you keep separate brushes for your regular inks uh, from your oxide inks. The oxide inks are quite creamy um, and they don't uh, react very well with if you, inter if you uh, use brushes for both kinds of ink. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it is, it's very, very creamy ink. Just another little tip too, I stack my inks. We can't really see what colour they are when they're stacked, so I just take a strip of paper, put the ink on them and then I can see straight away what they are. So uh, that's quite handy. So we just need to, as I said, we just need the, the ink just, just in this area here. I just do it in circular motions. 
And these little non-skin mats are very handy. They're actually for just opening jars. You've probably seen me using them before. But you can get the ink on your brush without having to actually hold the base, which comes in handy. Let's just see how that looks. And just a little bit more maybe on this side. It's a nice creamy ink though. I like uh, the oxide inks. Okay. So that's all the inking done for now on that one. And so I'll lay this flat, but as I said, let me know if you like the the raised ones or the um, the flat ones. So this is going to go on there next. I think it's such a pretty, so delicate. So I'll just put a bead of glue and I'll use the this glue here. It's a little thicker. And I'll just go around, just I need just a little bead of glue around the edge. There we go. And there we go, make sure this is the right way up. There we go. It's very sticky glue. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to use the tape runner to go just around here and stick it to the front of the card. I think these would make nice wedding cards or engagement cards too. It's so delicate. Okay. Now, I'm just going to, where is it? My stamping platform, that's what I need. So I'm just gonna put um, that little splash of color down here in the sentiment. Still got one on here from the last one I did. I'll just remove that one. So there's a few different sentiments we could use. This is the little, um, the little. Well, you could just take your brush and just sort of smear it across the front. But I thought I would just use this one, and this one is from. It's the winged masterpiece. Where is this one? This is this one. Bloom with Grace. I like that one. I've used this stamp set quite a few times. I do like that. So we'll just do this one first. And about there. Okay, that should do it. Oops. Move my scissors around so I don't catch them. There we go. Yeah, you can see on here how <laughs> sticky it is. It's almost like paint. before it uh, gets all over the card front, and that would be a shame. Okay. You could do that again, but I quite like that effect, actually. I think I'll leave it as is. Just give this a quick wipe off. So we we'll put our sentiment on. So this is the sentiment that I used before. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. And we'll do that one again. Or should we? Sending you get well wishes? Mm. Yeah, let's do the same one. Always seems as though we have more birthdays than anything else. Hopefully that's how it, it is. We don't want people getting sick. 
Okay. And we're going to use the intense black ink for this one. And I think we'll do it again. I probably should have just let the, the oxide inks dry a little bit more. They do take a little bit longer to dry than the regular inks. But well, that's okay. That looks good. wipe. Now what I did with this one, actually with both of them, I used my favourite, very favourite little die. It's part of the um, fancy edge dies and actually I've got meant to um, to make some blue ones up, but I didn't, but I've probably got some. And I'll show you what I do. There again, it's nice to um, to match up your ink colors with your actual embellishments. So, there was one from another project I just did. But with this one, all I do is just take a piece of cardstock and just smear the ink some more across your paper like that and then all you have to do is just pop this on here now I'm going to bring my die cut machine over which is a large one so clear a few things out of the way first Save those red hearts for something else. Okay. This is a rather large piece, but I've had it for quite a few years and it's it gets daily used, I think. Um, okay, so all you need to do is just pop that down over the top and it just cuts out some um, hearts for you. I mean, it does make a very nice border too, but I tend to use it more for the hearts than anything else. So you just need a little strip of paper. I'll just pop that in there like that. I can actually tape this down, but that's okay. I don't think I need to worry about that. Sorry if it jiggles the light. There we go. Okay, so we've got perfectly matched little hearts there. You see, it makes a lovely border too. That's really, I think, what it's designed for, but that's okay. The more uses you can get out of things, the better as far as I'm concerned. So let's just poke these little hearts out. Okay, we'll bring our card back. So with this one, or well these both of these ones, I've put a little heart in the middle there, and then some down on the side, and same with that heart in the middle, and then just down on the side. Um, also, a tip for you as well, if you are going to foam, um, put foam tape underneath there, make sure you put some underneath the flowers as well, because it's going to sag down if you don't. So, let's have a little look and see where we'll put these. Probably go for them in the same, same sort of place, I think. Maybe just there. That's good. I'll get my little glue dispenser. I'll just move that up there a little bit. I'll just pop a drop of drop of glue above where the heart is, and then just lift them up. I tend to use my exacto knife instead of tweezers. 
doesn't leave a mark on there, but I find the uh, it looks looks better for me. And this glue is is a white glue, but it just dry clear. So you won't see anything uh, shining through afterwards. So my cards always have to have a little bit of liquid glass. And we'll just put it on the heart. Oops, just wipe some off here. It's a little messy. There we go. Okay. Put it up here so I can just see. So I just dab a little bit on each heart. It's a very simple card, but I think it's quite an effective card and it's quite delicate I think and I said you could use it for so many different occasions so um, yeah so that completes today's card I'll list everything I've used below for this card which is also available on my online store if you have any questions please leave a message in the comments section also if you've enjoyed this video and learned something new please hit the thumbs up icon and consider subscribing to my channel Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye.